So you know how you want to do something and then you have 85 excuses to not get it done? Today we're going to talk about how to stop doing that and how to live your best life. Keep watching. So hey, it's Kyla Denango and today we are talking about excuses and how they can ruin everything that you have planned and everything you want to do, right? What happened for me in 2020 is that when everything changed, it changed for the better, right? I was pregnant, I was a new wife, I was now working from home, and it gave me a lot of time to say, Kyla, what do you really want from life? What have you wanted to do that you've been putting off for whatever reason? Why don't you do it? Why don't you do it right now? <laughs> I have this YouTube channel, which you're watching. Thank you for watching it. And I created this channel because I feel like there's so much that I could teach other people, right? The channel is created for someone like me, first generation law student who is either a big nerd, loves books, loves law, and wants to talk about life and wants to share that with others. I feel like I've had all these experiences and I, I just got to get them out of there. I really want to share them with other people. So that's why I created this channel. But let me tell you, it was not easy to create this channel. Let's get past all the equipment and the scheduling and all my hair. I kept putting off creating a YouTube channel because I was like, how are you going to wear your hair? You can't change your hair every two weeks. You can't change your hair every week. There needs to be some consistency. Yes. Hair was one of the first excuses that I used for not creating a YouTube channel. And I spent about maybe a week or two watching YouTube channels and being like, okay, do these people keep the same hair? Do those people keep the same hair? Right? Which is a completely silly excuse because I watch hair bloggers and I know that they change their hair. They change it on purpose and they get paid for changing their hair. But for me, I was just like, I can't change my hair all the time. This is going to look silly. I just need one style. Stick to that style. That's your style on YouTube. The craziest excuse, right? So I'm glad that I got over that. So vulnerability is another excuse that I had for not creating. You're watching this video. Kudos to you. Thank you. <laughs> but vulnerability is a big reason why people do not create. And that's because it takes guts. It takes a lot of strength and stamina to record, to edit, to create a podcast, to blog. You are being vulnerable when you do any of these things, right? And that's because you're putting your heart out there. You're putting your words out there. You're putting your thoughts out there for people to watch and dissect and consume and talk about, right? And so whether it's a tweet that you put out, whether it's a TikTok video that you put out, you are putting yourself out there for other people to look at and observe. And when they look at and observe, they're going to judge and they're going to have comments about it. So I'm no longer going to let vulnerability be an excuse for why I do not create. We're doing all the things, right? We're, we're, we're being grown ups and we're getting it done. So that's the other excuse that I had. So the third excuse that I had for not doing everything that I absolutely want to do is not having enough time. I am not ashamed to tell you that I'm recording this at night. Okay. It is nine o'clock. <laughs> if you can see that. And the truth is, with a little bit of time management, you will be surprised at all the stuff that you can get done, right? I'm a big advocate of resting and relaxing, so don't get me wrong. However, when my daughter goes to sleep, that's when I'm recording. That's when I'm editing YouTube videos. That's when I am interviewing podcast guests. That's when I'm doing all the stuff. That's when I'm blogging. That's when I'm talking to friends. That's when I'm meal prepping. That's when I'm doing it. So time was a really big excuse for me. And even when I look back at things before I had a child, I'm like, wow, I really think motherhood gave me all this extra time. And it's not true. The truth is motherhood let me realize all the time I was wasting <laughs> because when it was just my husband and I, yeah, I could sit and watch five and six hours of TV if I wanted to. Yeah, I could read four and five books a week. But you know what? I still can do that now because for one, my kid is a really good sleeper so that's that's just luck on my part but I do a lot of stuff at night and there's nothing wrong with doing stuff at night as long as you get it done so the two apps that help me with time management are Google Drive and then Tick 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 is a wonderful to-do list app where you can plug in everything you have to do you can color code things you can set reminders and it's it's absolutely brilliant and I love it I'm so happy I found it that was a win for me because I was using the standard iPhone reminders and there were all these kinks and twists and it tick tick is way better <laughs> don't trust me download it 
let me know in the comments if you're using it right then the other one is google drive and to me that feels like a little bit of a, a cheat because the drive includes sheets it includes your word processing but i use google docs for my youtube video outlines i use it for podcast outlines i use it for writing out the scripts for these videos i use google sheets for my budget and keeping all of my money in order and then of course i use google forms for the podcast episodes and contacting guests so google drive is the other app that i just absolutely love and it keeps everything right there at my fingertips okay so those are the three things that have stopped me from doing everything i absolutely wanted to do in life right i could of course make a list of 25 things <laughs> but those three things my hair afraid of being vulnerable and not having enough time were the three excuses that i had for not creating content for not doing everything that i wanted to do in my life and i'm not letting those excuses run anything over here anymore <laughs> so if you're still watching thank you i hope you learned something and let me know what the three excuses are that are stopping you from doing everything that you want to do in your life and i'll see you next time later